The preschool's learning program is play-based. Play-based has traditionally been the educational approach used by teachers at SAS. Our play-based kindergarten program has proven a lot of significant benefits for our children as it we expose them to learning and problem solving through self-initiated activity. So let's talk about our academic program. We will be including the four subjects that are required as the most essential learning competencies for kindergarten. And they are the following. Let's, let's begin. Can you see the lines in the floor? Just like this. How about the green and red circles? Let's have an activity with these lines. What we need to do is to step and follow the direction of this line. Green circle here means you have to start from that point. And red circle means you have to stop. Let's try to walk on the first line. Start from the green circle. Stop. Next, let's try the second line. Let's hop on it. When you hop, you lift off your left foot behind you. So you're standing on the right leg only. Then, slightly bend your right knee and do the hopping. Let's try. Hop, 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 and stop. Only the lines to step on. Say it again. My turn, vertical line. Your turn, vertical line. This is how we write vertical line. First, we have to start from the green circle or from the top, going down the red circle. <laughs> vertical lines. It is on the screen. Still with j, j, and p. Dip, dip. My turn, dip. Your turn? How about if we change the first consonant letter into W? W, and N, W, N. My turn, when? Your turn? The first one is, look at that, it's my turn, pen. Your turn? My turn, pen. Your turn? So remember, in your mind that we only use A and N when we're talking about only one name of a person, place, thing, or event. Okay? For example, look at the pictures. A bus. B is a consonant letter. So that's why we use A. Another one, a flower. Flower. The first letter is F and it is consonant, so that's why we use A. A flower. Forward. For example, when you count forward, you say 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and so on. Now, let's try to answer this. We have number 21. Let's find out what number comes after 21. Let's count. 21, 22. Oh, the number after 21 is 22. This egg is color blue. My turn, blue. Your turn? Blue. Blue. Aside from our academic program, we also have our skills enhancement program. At SAS, we care for your child's holistic development, and so we are offering our enriched learning curriculum that would enhance the four ma main areas of development in your child. And they are the following, values formation, speech development, arts and crafts, and practical life. We're going to train your child to develop different skills. For values formation, 
we shall have this every first Friday of the month. And the learning content of our school's educational videos and values formation shall focus on stories to teach values and moral lessons, clips that teach good manners to young kids, and also activities and games that promote positive values. Good morning, everybody! Today is Friday, and welcome to our Values Formation class because it's the first Friday of the month. Today, we're going to talk about a very special topic that is respect. Hmm, let's think. What does it mean when we say respect? Respect means being thoughtful and considerate of other people's feelings. Respect may also mean showing good manners, especially to our elders. For example, when mom asks you, did you already finish breakfast? You don't say, yes. You have to say, yes, mom. If your uncle asks you something, it's like, how old are you? Would you just say, I'm five? No, you have to say, I am five, uncle, or I am five, uncle Chuck. Are you ready to listen to a story? If you're ready, one, two, one, two, all eyes and ears on teacher game. Long time ago, there was a young boy walking through the park. In the middle of the park, he saw a tree with a sign that said, I am a magic tree. Say the magic heart and you will see. The young boy tried to guess the magic words. He tried Abracadabra. Hocus Pocus. So you see kids, saying please and thank you always go a long way and will always give us a lot of rewards. For speech development, we'll schedule it every second Friday of the month. We shall include in our learning content some short stories, read aloud clips, vocabulary enrichment activities, and even reciting rhymes and poems. Children, children. What do you see? I see a red bird. I see a yellow duck. I see a blue horse. I see a teacher looking at me. Yay! The three little kittens, they found their mittens, and they began to cry. Oh, mother dear, see here, see here, for we have found our mitten. But for practical life, the learning content of our educational videos shall focus on self-help skills, grooming oneself, food preparation, cleaning up after oneself, and helping out in simple shorts. Let's have our skills enhancement activity in practical life. And the steps on how to use spoon and fork properly when eating. What are table manners? The third is chew with your mouth closed. So chewing with your mouth closed and not talking when your mouth is full are very good table manners. Let's have the rice grains. So first, we need to place the tray on the center. After that, we need to put these two food containers into the tray. As you can notice, one Water to this glass. So, I have to hold the glass carefully and start pouring the water slowly. So, every 
fourth Friday of the month, we shall have the Arts and Crafts Day. This is when we are going to boost your child's artistic skills in different activities such as pasting, drawing, painting, cutting, and making handicrafts. There! Finally! Let's add a happy face to your strawberry! There you go! It's done! So cute, right? So we have our hard strawberry crab. Spread it to some cheese. Let's have some pepperoni. So kids, did you enjoy making your pizza? Wow, that's good! What makes SAS Learning Program unique? Here is our five-point guarantee to our parents for the preschool. So we offer interactive, pre-recorded videos with adult-assisted activities. So we would like to make sure that our pupils will really engage in the lesson in the most meaningful and interactive way they can. Next, we have workbooks and learning materials available for our parents. We shall include all the instructional materials that are needed for every lesson as you enroll at SAS. Here are some wonderful testimonials from our parents whose kids graduated from the school's free school learning program. And we are very grateful for the unwavering loyalty and support of our parents who have sticked with us through the years and even continue to partner with us in this pandemic. And Your finally, child's education is an investment, and South Coast International School ensures our commitment to total quality education. Enroll now and join us this school year for your child's homeschooling. Thank you, Lord, for the beautiful world, for the sun and the blue, blue skies, for the birds and the fishes and the flowers and the trees and the cute little butterflies. Our class is over, it's time to say goodbye, 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 be always nice and good. Goodbye and thank you, preschool. See you again.